Welcome back to our video roundup. I'm Michael Marshall, and I'm going to take you through our favourite science videos of the last week. Now, we know that many humans, after a hard day, like to relax by listening to classical music. But what about piglets? Sandrine Kirstenmont tells us more. Weaning is usually a stressful time for young pigs, but Dutch researchers have found that giving them a playroom makes them less aggressive. In this new research, they looked at whether classical music would further enhance their playtime. Before they were weaned, some piglets were exposed to music each time they went into a playroom. Other pigs listened to music, but were not given any playtime. The researchers found that when music was played after weaning, both groups of pigs were more playful. The effect was more pronounced in the pigs that had been given playtime before they were weaned. Next, we have some pigs in a much more grisly setting. At the University of Victoria in Canada, forensic researchers have been dropping pig carcasses into the ocean in order to understand what happens to human bodies underwater. One study has been looking at how marine life interacts with the carcasses, which should help homicide investigators determine the time and cause of death of recovered bodies. After just 24 hours, a crab, lobster and anemone had located this pig body. Fifteen days later, crabs and lobsters had removed a lot of the flesh, and the pig's legs had been separated from its body. The carcass was then moved by a larger scavenger, possibly a dogfish. So far, the researchers have found that marine life leaves the head and face for last. This is the opposite of what happens on land, where maggots are drawn to the head of a corpse first. Finally, we look at some unborn crocodiles that help each other come out of their shells. Sandrine takes up the story. A crying baby is annoying enough, but young crocodiles make themselves heard even before they're born. To find out why, researchers recorded the calls and played them to other unhatched eggs. The unborn crocs responded by making similar sounds and by rocking back and forth. They normally hatched within 10 minutes of the start of the chorus. In addition to other babies, the mothers also reacted to the calls. Here, speakers were buried where mothers had hidden their eggs, and the researchers played back the young crocs' noises. All of the ten moms tested showed a response, and eight of them started digging for the eggs. The researchers think the calls are made to synchronize hatchings. Moms are more likely to hear a chorus of young crocs rather than a lone one. That's all for now, but we'll be back next week with more science videos, and in the meantime, you can find lots more stories on our website. You can read about a new electronic book that lets you flip and attach pages, or watch a video from features editor David Cohen's trip to the site of the Tunguska explosion. Bye for now.